Joe, the science didn't work on 9-11. But then again, going, you know, going, going out through the octopus of, of the control they have on, these people have on the planet, they make mistakes, Joe. They're human. Look at the, the Dubai uh, 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 murder, you know, uh, trying to make peace with the people and you're murdering their leaders, you know, you know two-faced. Uh, they made a lot of mistakes. They're making mistakes. Look at uh, what happened in Australia. We know about the, the shopping malls in Australia, in the US, you know, selling these copters and uh, selling all these uh, Dead Sea products and whatever. And there are Mossad agents over there uh, orchestrating something. Uh, something has to be done about it. Uh, you, you kind of, you can, you, dual loyalties, uh, you know, Israel is something really, really special. And uh, you can have people, you know, it wouldn't be fair. To have the top, you know, uh, 42 of the top 60 people in Switzerland being dual national uh, Swiss and Irish, uh, you know, this it would seem or you know, North Koreans or something. Uh, that would be very odd. Yet we have all around the planet, all around the planet, uh, even in the in the Muslim countries and the Arabic countries, uh, these families going back and they they're they're Jews uh, and people don't say, you know, there's not a conspiracy going on. I uh, I actually uh, blame more Freemasonry myself, as you know. I'm kind of because I believe that there are not enough Jews in the world to actually um, say no, be the support. The they need a support is, structure. Is, is, is a controlled uh, controlled uh, uh, structure by the Jews by the yes. money men, and, and and so is common purpose. Their newer version, because you know you can get all the rich guys in the club, but then you need to deal with these. You know, uh, the last 100 years has seen a huge, the biggest increase has been in the middle class, and they have now common purpose and it's you know it's it's spidering out around the world you know from the uk ireland now in america canada france uh, it's uh, heading toward in australia uh, and these are, you know, they need to control the middle classes. You know, that's where the big population is, and we need people in there that will, you know, tell us what to do. If, if they, you know, nuke some city, they'll they'll have a team ready and they'll tell us what to do. Yeah, Ogner, um, uh, Alex Jones is making another 9/11 prediction. He's done several these years. His newest one is that they're gonna pull off a 9/11 like event uh, around August, um, uh, April 21st. Pay no attention to him. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> uh, is it is it possible that they nuke a city? Yes, absolutely. I think that's very possible. Uh, maybe Jones has the, the maybe the t the time as well. Uh, he he'd be well informed. But uh, you know, uh, he, he you know he needs these, and, and he might be right. And I've heard Jones over the years making predictions. Oh, this day, the yes. next six days, forty-five, and it's all nonsense. Uh, Do you know what he but, says when it doesn't it happen? He, yeah. All he needs is one, get one right or two right, like Salente, this yes. guy he keeps having on about his financial predictions. He made lots of predictions. If you go back and read what he said and, wrote and what he wrote, he made lots of predictions and he got a couple of them right. <coughs> and when the mainstream media want to push uh, somebody, they'll pick up on the good bits. Yeah, uh, I, I was going to ask you, uh, it, Alex Jones is... Uh uh, this guy needs to be outed. He's a liar. He's in a, The next thing you'll see him up on a panel with Limbaugh and, and Wiener and all these guys, uh, and he's he's and then you'll say, oh, "Shit, he was really work." Look at Red Ron. I mean, uh, the next president, Red Ron. Uh, he worked with the, uh, George Bush, uh, and another collaborator. I'm talking about Father Bush, another collaborator with these people. I mean, this is the guy. Get him to stand up on on, on uh, ten years before uh, nine eleven on the same day as nine eleven and talk about the new world order. We need a new world. Uh, you know, I don't need any new world order. I don't want all my crap to be bought from to be made in China. Uh, you know, globalization. I think is the one of the worst things that's hit us this century. Uh, concerning China, uh, China has I've been reading uh, recently decided that they are going to unpeg their uh, currency the yuan from the dollar. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, something I don't understand, Ogner. If they do that, basically the price of Chinese goods will increase dramatically. And would that actually be? If they're enemies, I don't. It's really hard to decide whether or not they're enemies or friends with America, but or the people, the Jews who run America. Uh, would uh, that no, make it no, impossible it, it, to import Chinese people. goods? It's the same people, Joe. You know, they might let the the one uh, uh, go up six percent. You see, we're talking about percentages. So, you know, if it goes up, say seven percent, uh, products coming out of China will be more expensive. Seven yes. percent. You know, the agents. But they have a very thin are. profit margin. That's. It, it, I mean, these these are slave laborers. You know, uh, these and you know. 
two minister or two financial guys in China, you know, say different things within two hours, and we'll do this and do that. You know, the Chinese are a proud population around for five thousand years of history. Uh, they, they, you know, they're supposed to be. You know, the Chinese people are supposed to be holding. You know, two point four trillion dollars. AJ loves their two point four trillion. Uh, That's not true. I it's actually it, around nine hundred billion. Well, you know, the numbers don't, don't the no, numbers don't mean anything, Joe, anymore. Uh, the Chinese people work in slave factories. Although, again, yet again, you have this, uh, uh, um, you know, it's a huge increase in the middle class, what we call middle class. Now, middle class, uh, uh, you know, they don't have money to really do anything, and they have the poor people around, to, uh, you know, the the. The, the down and outs and people that don't pay taxes and are broke and are struggling around to remind the, 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 the middle class to keep working and keep being slaves and keep paying taxes or you'll end up like these people. And look at the situation we currently are in the world with foreclosures, uh, evictions we call them more in Ireland are sharply on the increase. Now, this isn't, uh, you know, something because it happened two weeks ago. This is something that happened over the last 10 years with this easy credit and, you know, getting people to... You know, people made, you know, were... You have a, you have a choice. People... Uh, I'll I, I give you a story, Joe. And, you, you, you know, people will fall, you know, for a gullible salesman. Now, I met a salesman today, uh, and he didn't speak English or he didn't speak French. Okay. Uh, and he was a salesman. Well, he was actually a con artist, but I was sitting at my, uh, at my computer. I was doing a lot of paperwork this afternoon. And this guy uh, walked in front of my shop window. And I noticed him out of the side of, you know, the corner of my eye. I said, what the hell is this guy? And I looked over at him, and all of a sudden he bent down in front of my store, and I have a, a sign, so I didn't mean I didn't see what he was doing. Uh, and he came up, and he had a gold ring. And he he starts pointing it to me. So I said to him, "Fuck off with it! I don't want it." You know, uh, and the guy was a Roma, a uh, Romanian oh, uh, gypsy. Or, Gypsies were, were they're all over the place. They don't know what to do with them. And the Swiss screwed up, saying, "Well, they took all the kids off the Roma families and brought, sent them to school here in Geneva recently. And all of a sudden, all the the, the Romanian Romas are sending <laughs> more kids to Switzerland to get educated. I mean, the Romas get Swiss education, you know, Swiss public education, well, whatever. Anyway, the guy comes into my store. Doesn't speak. He doesn't speak any language. He speaks whatever language he speaks." gypsy and he shows me this gold ring so i'm looking at it to see if there's any sign and i know the scam i already knew the scam so in the middle of this daryl called me on skype so i got the guy to wait i talked to daryl for about three or four minutes and then i got a mobile call i got him to wait and then the scam you know it's a well-known scam uh he said it's you know he wants you to think it's gold and he'll leave it with you and you can do what you want but you just give him you know, you know 50 francs 50 bucks and whatever and, and he's happy and you, you're happy you got a gold ring and it's not go a gold ring it's obviously worth you know a, a, a dollar and it's a scam and it's a well-known one here and it happened to me today but i made the most of it Joe. And I thought, <laughs> it was the high, this is one of my best days joe uh work-wise in, in about a year i really really i worked hard today very folk is very organized and i got that scam and i was ready for it ogner uh there's something uh i had a, a discussion at the local government office where i had a meeting uh it, it concerns uh okay within the conspiracy community it's very u.s oriented america oriented yeah absolutely. and we keep on hearing about how horrible the economy is you know that's what all these conspiracy radio hosts say Ogner, tell you the truth, I was having this exact same discussion with uh, somebody, with a couple of uh, government officials here, and uh, they were, uh, we were kind of all arguing with each other, because I was coming from the viewpoint that, oh, we're in an economic depression, which of course the economy is bad worldwide, but tell you the truth, here in Sweden, it's not that bad. I've been getting, uh, even today, I got a job offer. I mean, companies are calling me, and I hear you.